Hello everyone, today I'm going to be starting off a new series on networking and it's going to be on Cisco Networking Academy. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, find out the network broadcast first usable and the last usable host from a given IPv4, IP version 4 address. And uh, there are two tables, so two examples I'm, I'm going to be showing you. This is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough on finding these out. I'm not going to be talk about talking about uh, what you call um, class A, class B, class C addresses. I hope you can just see and reference from the book. All I'm going to do is show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to find calculate this out. All right, let's get started. In the first uh, table, as we can see, the IP the I, the IP address is given, and this is the prefix pre prefix mask. So the first thing that we have to do is find out the subnet mask. All right, so in an in an IP address, the there are like four octets, and four uh, each of the octets contain eight bits. So the uh, like since it's slash nineteen, it adds up to the number of bits. So in the first octet, there's eight. Second octet, there's uh, eight. So eight plus eight, sixteen. Third octet is 24. 8 plus 8 plus 8 is 24, and, eight, and the fourth octet comes up to 32. All right. So the first 19 bits are gonna be the network address, uh, network part. Uh, so the uh, what you call the subnet mask will be 255.255. Since it's 19, so let's just write this down here, the binary of it. I'm just gonna be doing this once for uh, like a head start. All right, so uh, first eight bits are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. So uh, these, these are eight bits over here. So the three bits are going to be borrowed from the third octet. The first octet contains eight, second octet, eight. From the third octet, there is three. So eight plus eight plus three is 19. All right, so the what you call uh, the first three bits are gonna be the uh, what you, the in in included into the subnet mask. So 128 plus 64 plus 32 gives out 224. So 224 dot zero because only two till the 224th part is our network address. Our subnet mask in, uh, like goes up to that, and other than that, other parts are host portion. All right, so uh, we found out the subnet mask. Now the network address. Now network address, there is uh, you can find out by doing an AND operation between the host IP address and the subnet mask. So if you do, if you convert them to binary like this, so you can get uh, like if you add these up, one two eight plus sixty four and all, the, uh, and then find the binary of it, then you can find out the network address. I'm just gonna be showing you a shortcut because I'm hoping I I know like that. You won't get that much time to calculate this, so let's just do the shortcut method. All right, so since uh, like in the two fifth in two five five two five five, all of the eight bits are ones. So when you and between all ones and some other number, any number, it will always give out that other number. All right, so the first two portions will be the first two octets will remain the same. It's the third octet that's gonna change because it's 224 in the third octet, and that, that part is zero, so that part is also gonna remain same, so it's gonna be zero. The third octet is what we're worried about. So what we do is we find the magic number. So let's find it out. Magic number is 256 minus 224, which is gonna give you 32. All right, so now we need to find a number that is uh, greater than, uh, sorry, that is less than or equal to uh, what you call um, hun uh, 100. We can say it's less, it's equal to but not greater than 100. So what we do is we increment by this magic number. So 0 plus 32 plus, uh, and 32 plus 32 will give 64. 64 plus 32 will give you 96 and 96 plus 32 will give you 128. Now we stop here because we found a number that is uh, we found a range that is uh, uh, equal to but not greater than 100. So the range is from 96 to 127. All right. So uh, what we do is we just put this here. 
So the third octet is going to be 96 for the network portion and for the broadcast portion it's going to be 200.168.127.255. Now why 255? Because in broadcast we always like uh, the zero portion or the host portion, the remaining host portion will always be uh, as many number of ones as it can. So the highest number of ones is of course all the ones. So it's 255. All right, so we found out the network and the broadcast address. Now all we need to find out is the first usable host. First usable host is going to be 200.168. Now the first usable host is actually like an, uh, an increment by one from the network address. Uh, so uh, for the network address, we increment the last octet by one. Uh, like the zero, the host portion, we always increment the, the last possible octet by one. So it will be 96, sorry, 96 dot one. The same way, the last usable host IP is going to be a one subtracted from the broadcast address. So 200.168.127.254. So this is how we find out the network broadcast first usable and the last usable host. I'm going to be trying out another example for you to get more acquainted with it. All right, so this is the information given. Uh, the subnet mask is over the, all the way down here. Let's find out the subnet mask. Now, prefix is 18. So in the 8 bits, we know that a network address contains 8 bits. So 8, uh, like 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits. Now, it chooses 8 plus 8 is 16, and 16, 17, 18. So 2 bits will be borrowed on the, uh, from the third octet, not here, the third octet. So 8 to the 16, 17, 18. So the, uh, the first portion is going to remain the same. Yeah, the first portion is gonna re the first two octets is gonna remain the same. So 255.255. Dot. This is gonna change. It's gonna be the first two bits. So here, as as you, as we draw before, as we drew before, the first two bits are gonna be borrowed. So 128 plus 64, which is gonna give us uh, what you call 192. All right. So let's just write it down here. All right, 192.0 because the other part is the host portion. All right, so now we find the network address. Like I said, the shortcut, not the AND version. You have to find out the binary and then AND it. It's a lot of hassle. So we just do the shortcut version. So 255.255. Like I said, the, sorry, 255. The first uh, two octets will remain the same because the first two octets have the subnet mask of 255. So 147.160. These the the last the third octet is gonna be changing and the last octet is gonna remain zero because the what you call this part is zero is the host portion. All right, so uh, let's find out the magic number again. So 256 minus 192 will give you 64. 64 is a magic number, but like I said, it has to be the third, uh, from the third octet, it has to be a number that is uh, equal to, but not greater than 25. So this number is usually always one. So the range is gonna be from zero to 63. All right, I know it's a bit confusing, but like I said, the third octet's number, the, the number, the magic number that you're trying to find out of whichever octet, it has to the the number has to be incremented in such a way that it is uh, equal to but not greater than the third octet uh, the, the value in the octet of the IP address in this case the third octet all right so it's gonna be from 0 to 63 so let's put down the values once you practice a good good amount of you know like this kind of problems it'll take you five minutes to actually solve it but on the other hand, when people actually follow the conventional rule, like, you know, anding and blah, 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 I don't know what other rule they use, but I use this shortcut method. And, it, and trust me, there are more things to write. And this is actually better because it saves a lot of your time. All right, like I said, um, it's going to be 0, 0.0. All 
All right, and the broadcast address is going to be 147.160.63.0. Uh, All right, like, why 63? Because the range is from 0 to 63. And here, the range was from 96 to 127. So the first was 96, and this was 127. So same same case here. And now then the first usable IP, like I said, is like an increment by one from the network address. So 147.160.0.1. And for this is one decremented from the broadcast address. So 147.160.63.0. Two five four. Oh, and I made a mistake here. Oops. It's going to be two five five because, like I said, broadcast addresses are all the possible ones that can be filled on the host portion, right? It's because, like, the first. The let's just let's just explain this a little, elaborate this a little bit more. So in this case, the eighteen bits are the first eighteen bits are host address. Uh, sorry, network address. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And the remaining are the, what you call the host portion. So, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. So, the first, the, these are the network portion. And this is the network portion. And this remaining bit is the host portion. So, for this, the, the network address will, that's why it remains zero. And for the host portion, all of them become so in the broadcast portion, all of them, all of the host, the host portion becomes one. That's why it's two five five here, uh, two five five here, and this becomes sixty three because uh, what you call when you count, when you add this up, one two four eight six sixteen thirty two. When you add these uh, these bits up, you get sixty three. All right. So that was about it. This is about finding out the uh, network broadcast first usable and the last usable from. Uh, IP uh, IP version 4 address you can check like when you want to check your answers if yours is correct all you have to do is go to go Google and find out a calculator that will give you the answer and uh, that's about it so I hope you understood and please like and subscribe if you want more uh, computer science tutorials and good luck